I think you have real serious issues about your sexuality, and, and you sexualize your feelings. And that, that's what I was picking up on immediately when you when you uh, really yeah when you called, and uh, and now you're a stripper, and so that, that that all fits with all those sorts of need to reenact mm -hmm. some some feeling of powerlessness in relation to men, typically that happened early in life. All right, Debbie, therapy, baby. Use all that tip money. <laughs> How much do you make on tips? Uh, like three or four hundred. No. Oh. Jesus Christ. Mm. I used to build houses for uh, 500 bucks a uh -huh. week. You guys bring home 1500 a week. It drives me insane. Can I ask one more quick No, question? that's plenty from you. You go to the therapist. What, what, what? It's really quick. Okay, I was listening to your show a while back, and you, somebody came, called in about warts, genital warts. Yeah. And I don't know if I misunderstood or didn't hear it right. Mm -hmm. I was under the impression that they will stay in your body forever. That's the old theory, but there's a few subtypes that clearly clear up after three to five years. But the problem yeah. is you can't tell whether you have those or not, so you always have to assume you're contagious with them. Wow. Gina, Drew checked my penis for warts on the air. What would you find, Drew? Uh, Suspicious. Sus Sus something how suspicious. Dare how really? Dare something you. But, Sus but how dare you? Well, that right. just I, I'm telling forget you. about anything. No, you here's, know. What, here's what's hear suspicious. Him out. Hear him and out. I here's thought what, we had something going here, on. No, no. Hear, him huh? out. Here's, hear him out, my dear. Here's what was suspicious. It was pristine. <laughs> pristine. Pristine. It was a stunt penis. You could it eat off not my his penis, penis, could you not? Suspicious. Oh, brother. You could eat off it. Where's the vomit? It is grand and beautiful. <laughs> oh, that, you know what that is? Ooh. That's Huell Hauser. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he took a tour of my uh, genital region. It'll be on uh, oh, boy. It'll well, be you on, don't, uh, California Drew, Gold. you read that girl beautifully. Mm. Yeah. You picked right up on that. We talked a lot very about nice. that, that type. Yeah. yeah. Oh, She's, yeah. She got a little nutty. this is very new to me. On. You know, this uh, whole thing is very, you know. I could open up new worlds for you, baby. I'm... I could take you places you've never been before, like North Hollywood. <laughs> 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 know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Get yeah. it. You're used to a certain kind of life, swinging from vines, going yeah, to big yeah. Hollywood parties, mm -hmm. driving around in fancy cars. But yeah. I could give you something that none of those guys really? could give you. The real rough yeah. riding. No, herpes. Oh, herpes. No. I got it. No. That's no. No, I'm kidding. Right no, through you check my genital region. And he's clean. He, you pristine. can eat off pristine. of it. Right? Yeah, that is right. You That's good. You could try. Very nice. We'll take ourselves a uh, hmm. little break. Gina Lee Nolan is our guest tonight. Sheena, Queen of the Jungle. Coming out when? What Saturday? First week in October, Saturday, That's ABC, right. here That's in Los right. Angeles. Check your local listings. I'll also be on a uh, Saturday morning uh, cartoon, the uh, <laughs> the uh, Disney cartoon. What the hell is that? The Buzz Lightyear cartoon. I'll be the right. uh, voice of uh, Commander Nebula, and I may be up for an en Emmy. I really. An enema? An enema? An enema. An enema. <laughs> I got that. Thank you. All right. All we'll right. take a little break. You can't we'll articulate, can't right. articulate yourself a any better than that. Anderson, I swear to Christ, I'm going to throw this chair through that goddamn glass window and crush you one day. <laughs> Soon. And there won't be a court in the land that'll convict me. We'll be back. Uh, oh, yeah. Yep, it is Loveline. Well, I'm Adam Parola. That is Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Gina Lee Nolan is our guest tonight. Hello. She is uh, mm -hmm. going to be coming up uh, first week in October, right? Saturday. Sheena, Queen yes. of the Jungle. Ow! Now, this is a syndicated show, and uh, since we're also a syndicated show, mm -hmm. you should... Uh, all you uh, folks should uh, look Listening for it. Listening out there, first week in October, check your local listings. That's right. You uh, young young lads aren't going to want to miss this one. No, it's great. <clears throat> Gina thought she was going to leave after the first hour, but here's a new plan, Gina. Oh, what's that? <laughs> you you got to get up at what time? 5.30 tomorrow morning? Yes. I got to get up at 5.30 I tomorrow I know, morning. I hear Asshole. You. I say we score some Coke. Now, hear oh, me God. out. Hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. And we watch the sun come up. From a uh, vacant lot that's by my mom's place in North Hollywood. Oh. We really get to know each other. Are you coming on to me? No. No? No. I mean this. Are you asking me? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> How dare you? <gasps> <laughs> 
I'm saying we're going to need to do drugs if we're going to pull out Gina's all night. going to fly through that. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. no. He's going to just... read through that glass. Oh, he understands. That. Yeah, just, I don't he can't just... help himself. We're just doing a little blow and staying up all night. Uh, Drew, you can't have sex when you're high on coke, right? You can't, right, Drew? You? I'm talking about you personally? You know what I'm saying. Drew's the realist. He's... Yes. Oh, yes. <sighs> oh. Oh. Renee? Mm hmm You're okay. 17. Yeah. What's up? Um, I think, okay, I think that I like sex a little way too much for somebody my age, and I think I'm, I don't know, like, is there any way of telling if you were, like, molested when you were younger or anything? Mm, like, you have those sorts of things going on? Yeah, I mean, I have a lot of issues, and, like, I know that when I was younger, like, really, really young, I remember kissing, like, other girls and stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm sick. But it was just kissing? Yeah, but, I mean, I was in, like, first grade. Well, who who would have molested you? I don't know, like, because... Um, yeah, well, my dad died when I was younger, and then my mom dated a lot, so I don't know uh, if maybe. Uh-oh. Yeah, but hmm. also, I, I think it's the kind of thing where you'd have a, you'd have a pretty good idea. Well, let's, let's set the stage yeah, here. That's what I was what a dad. I mean, I'd assume Hang that on. I would remember something like yeah, that's that. Right. What, what did dad die of? Um, he killed himself. And was he an addict or something? Um, yeah. Okay, were the guys that your mom brought around, uh, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I, mean, I don't know yeah. if they were. But they you, well, listen. I know that my mom did too, like afterwards. All right, stuff. you see, mom's an addict. Also. Okay, so your your mom is uh, mm. bringing home uh, extras from. Uh, um, yeah, mass. but it wasn't like that. What, what is that? What was that movie where that kid was deformed uh, in the face with oh, Cher? Oh, Mass. With Cher, yeah, with Mass, Cher. yeah, like those types of guys were hanging around the house, uh, right? The thing, like, no, 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 because he was like, wearing a really good guy and all, you know. Mm -hmm. Really? Was, yeah. yeah, like seriously, he was really good, like. He kind of, I mean, he cheated on her and all, but he was like a really good person. And, like their family was. Hold on, love line, <laughs> love line reenactment. This guy was excellent. He was a saint. I mean, he was a really, really good man. You know, he cheated on her and all, but like, like, like everyone, like himself. everyone does, like everyone. But he's a very solid. Other than the uh, banging of the other mm. women, solid, solid as a rock. This guy, and what a family man. Renee, this guy just seemed great in comparison to the other a holes you were around when you were younger. Yeah. Hmm. And I think that may be the issue here. Plus, your mom was an addict. Why don't you Why don't you go to Al-Anon? Are you an addict yourself? No. Well, I used to. Well, what happened was I used to do a lot of stuff, but then I moved and I've kind of like gotten away from all of that. I used okay, to do a well, lot of ecstasy, but I don't do any of that anymore. I don't even really drink anymore. So. Right. Really? Right. Well, you you, you okay. may be you may have that biological tendency to be an addict. And if well, yeah, that's why I don't want to do anything though, because I don't want to end up. And being sex, being sexual done. compulsion, sexual addiction is one of the more common manifestations of that biology. And you've had all that traumatic past. You add your biology to that. You take a bunch of ecstasy on top of that. That's a good recipe for sexual compulsion and that sorts of behavior. So right. why don't you look into, what some, to do. look into some recovery? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like, my parents kind of told me, though, that it, they never really thought that I needed, like... Hey, your parents, your dad killed yeah. himself. Uh, your mom's a junkie. No, she's not. Yes, she's she no, is. Go to a drug she addict. totally changed her life. Uh, all right, but you're listening to her? Go to, go to some sort Please. of... Please. Go to get some counseling. She's done a lot. She really has... Uh, stop defending your mom. She's the one who did a horrible job raising you. You're uh, going to listen to her now? No, she did a... Oh, oh she was a witch. I could be so much worse. Oh, oh my God. Sure, yeah. They, yeah, they, great. They, they could have chained you to a radiator and beat you. Oh, God. <sighs> Other than that, you couldn't have done any worse. Go to a program. Is maybe Al-Anon start with? That's right. Something like that. Some 12-step program. Get a sponsor. Work the steps. You need it, Renee. If you don't want help, then don't listen. Fine. That's don't, fine. But don't call the show. Don't call. That's right. There you go. And listen, all you people that are busy defending your horrible parents, why bother? You do what I do. And what Drew does. Make your family into monsters. It's much easier. Makes oh, you feel God. better about yourself. It really does. Because think did about... You have a, did you have a good childhood? Oh, no. Oh. So, no. <laughs> 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 What went wrong? <laughs> Can't you tell? Look at me. What the hell went wrong? I know. That's what the parents are asking themselves. I know. I know. I know. It's easy to look at me now. Gosh, with, it's, it's with the party houses and the you know literally yeah, being I mean, a millionaire no, and the matinee yes, and good looks all and all that. And, 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 and yeah, I know it's so easy yeah. now. But uh, mm -hmm. no, my my parents were horrible parents. Horrible. Mom, I'm so mad at you. I'm so <laughs> mad at you, I love Mom. The sound effects. <laughs>
the hell is going on? That was, that was you. I know. What was hey, I thinking? Mom. Hey, hey, mommy. <laughs> Look at that. Look at all those references to mom. <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake. I've been doing the show for five years, you jackass. Oh, my uh, God. I just got done whacking off to my oh, mom. Oh, right. my Anderson. God. How dare you all humiliate right. me. Let's take a break. I need to get out of here. Nolan. I need to get out of this room for a little while. All right, I do, too. You got, you got gas? You got, getting... you got to pee? Yeah, you got to pee. All right, here's the deal. Gina Lee Nolan is going to hang with us for one more break. It'll be a nice short break. You'll be on the road in okay. an hour, 45 minutes. No, I love no, staying. No, you'll, you'll, you'll you be out of here in no time at Come all. Come on. No, you're staying. Your I husband, like I'll tell you what. Send your husband, I wish I could give a little more advice. Send your go ahead, and I'll just drop you And off. you drop That's right. I'll swing right, I'll swing right <laughs> by. All right. <laughs> we'll take a little break. We'll be right back. Bye-bye. Gina Lee Nolan is our guest tonight. Dr. Drew's over there. I'm over here. Phone number 1-800-LVE-191. Sheena, queen of the jungle, everybody. Coming yeah. out. First week in October. It'll be uh, a syndicated show, so uh, check your local listings. Mm-hmm. Make sure you don't drive across country and check a listing. Check your local <laughs> listings. Because, you know, sometimes you tell people to check listings, and they go yeah. a couple states over. And crack the newspaper and then drive on back home. You know that happens sometimes. All right. Yeah, so yeah. often. So yeah, so so, so check your local listings. listings. Right, and same with movies. If you're going to see a movie, if you're living in, let's say, Idaho, it's important not to drive over the border in like a Vancouver or something like that to see the movie. You should actually check see your local your check your local town. listings and uh, find uh, Sheena, Queen of the Jungle. Why? They will. Uh, she Ooh, will lovely. be, Gina will be swinging by wearing uh, nothing but a chamois and a smile. That's right. That's right. Ow! She, she'll uh, dry your car and you'll uh, wet your sofa. <laughs> I, should, I should do the billboard campaign for this. You should. Marie? Yeah? You're for, oh, wait a minute. I didn't want to talk to Marie. This is horrible. That's a horrible what? call. Where, where are we, Drew? Let's pick uh, what you want. Yeah, let's find it. It's, it's too heavy tonight. It's really, it's really, uh, it's taking all the sex out of the room for Gina. Mike? Yeah. You're 28. Yeah. What's oh, up? How's it going, guys? Good. Oh, boy. What a problem you have tonight, huh? Yeah, I got I got a big problem here. The <laughs> problem is, is my girlfriend, when we first started dating, she liked to get smacked around, you know, smacked here or there, you know. And now she's getting into where she really wants to get hit. And I'm a pretty good sized <laughs> guy, you know. I don't know if I start, you know, really pounding her. Really? Uh-huh. Well, what the problem is here, you see? I'm about ready for Mike to start playing the spoons. <laughs> Where are, you, where are you calling from tonight? Uh, Southern California. Oh. oh. Holy Christ. we got to move, Drew. Is this what we sound are like? Are you comfortable with smacking your girlfriend around? Well, I started out to be, you know, just a smack on the butt here and there, you know. But now she wants to, like, turn it over and say, now hit me, you know. Where are you from? What's that? Where'd you grow up? Originally? Yeah. Now, where'd you grow up? <laughs> where'd you get that accent? Let's cut the crap. Yeah, Kentucky. All, All right. right. There you go. All right, and she means... That's not to say I'm not intelligent. She means... No. No, it isn't to say it, but it impl- sure sure the hell implies it. <laughs> so, <laughs> it just sounds like it. Yeah. He's not. Uh, yeah, that's why all, the, all, all people from England sound smart and all people from Kentucky sound stupid. It wouldn't matter. Um, all right, so listen. Uh, now, obviously, she probably had a little abuse growing up. Uh, she doesn't always ever talk about it. Well, oh, that's, yeah. it's physical Maybe abuse. Maybe it's time to physical start abuse. talking. Something's yeah. up. Physical yeah. abuse is what usually causes this. Oh, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Now, you could go to therapy, or you could argue with her, or you could talk it out. But here's my here's my take on this. One good, sharp hook. Just, <laughs> oh, my God. Just, just a big, a big <laughs> left hook. Are you out of your and, mind? And, Mike, I used to teach boxing. So let me explain what to do. You you got to get hip <laughs> rotation into that. You have to hit her not only with your hand, but with your calf, your thigh, your hip, and your shoulder, your <laughs> whole listen. side, yeah, but and it's, turn on it. But it's while he's turn on sex. It. Can you do that one? What? Well, you stand her up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so what I'm saying is you pivot. Don't be flat-footed. No. Don't be down on your heels. You've got to pivot and turn on it and yeah. really hit her once. But here's the thing. She'll never ask for it again. <laughs> never. Okay. If she thinks that's what's coming, like if you, you know, n- knock a tooth loose... <laughs> 
a <laughs> rupture something. She'll never no. ask for it again. No, I I know it sounds she it sounds some, out of line, but she it's needs important. Some counseling. They need some help. Okay. They need to discuss this. Well, I don't think smacking her around anymore. No, not around. Just help. one good one. Just one <laughs> good shot. Huh? One good one. That's what I was playing on. A good left uppercut, you see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That'll rattle her so badly. It, it really works. Okay. All right, Mike. I appreciate it. It really uh, works. Good. That means you've tried it. Oh, yeah. But I go to the body because I don't want them all marked up showing up at work the next day. You know what I mean? I need the cops on me. I go to the body. See what I'm saying, Drew? And it works. Mm. Yeah, oh, yeah. This is a great message for me, by the way. So yeah, they they never nice. ask to be hit again. Well, think about it. You're doing them a favor, right? They never ask to be hit again. That's why they're, they're running and never turning back either. <laughs> no, I would never do that to a woman. I uh, I revere women. I'm I'm actually in love with uh, being, being in love. love. I yeah. Yeah. Don't shut your mouth. Britt, you're 23. Adam, you are the smartest man alive. Thank you. You know that right now. Thank uh, you very much. Dr. Drew. Yeah. Not so much, but that's okay. You're a good oh. guy. I, uh, Asshole. <laughs> I, I just wanted to ask you guys something real quick. Uh, just how do you know when you've been through enough traumatic crap that you probably ought to go talk to somebody? I swear, within since the beginning of this year, I've been through more just stupid crap that I had nothing to do with. It just, I mean, my mom got married without telling me. Uh, I found out my best friend was uh, sticking it to my girlfriend behind my back, and she left me for him. Uh, I found out my dad had more children than I even knew about, and so I've got all these half-brothers and sisters I never even knew about. Uh, yeah. My brother got thrown in jail. Uh, all right, that's I, enough. Yeah. You can go to therapy. Go. Thanks. I've said it a million like, times. It's not like I'm depressed or something Listen, like that. Listen, who cares? Well, my, you have a lot to deal with, I, you know. My dad missed a couple of Pop Warner football games in the 70s, and I'm still in therapy. That's it. Go ahead. Couldn't hurt. I mean, do, do you recommend anyone? Because I mean, yes. What? I, I just, I mean, I'm, I don't even know where to, where I would go to. Do you have a doctor? No, I haven't been to the doctor. I don't know when. Do you, do you know one? any? Uh, do you know anybody? Well, you don't know anybody as a therapist, do you? No. Uh, I mean, I go to school. I, uh, there's school counselors there. Yeah, you can talk no. to a school wait, wait, counselor oh, though, and it. maybe get, wait, 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 what, wait, get wait, some it. recommendations. What kind of school do you go to? What school do you go to? Junior oh, college. I, I just go to this tiny little. It's actually a four-year college, but it may as well be junior college. It's a junior college that you have to repeat, mm -hmm. so it's a four-year. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't have mental health services for the students. Yellow no, pages. They're, they're lucky they've got classrooms to put us in. So uh, I, I don't know. I mean, where, where do you find a? Sh it, it, it sounds retarded to open the phone book, but no. It is. Oh no! I but, just but said hold on. Oh, yeah. on. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold no. on. Why? Don't, you don't. You don't trust a guy who advertises. No, it's that people don't know what they're looking for. There's all kinds of therapies out there. Well, then how and, would he? I, I know, is but he, is there a hotline? Is there no, some? No, he should start with his, he, if he has a medical counselor? care. No, yes, if he has medical insurance, he must have a doctor and ask them for referral. All right, but how how crucial is it? I've had I mean, like I've had like four thing. shrinks in my life. What they're did they're you all say the same. What? I think I up with a rolfing therapist or something. You know what I mean? There's all kinds of weird stuff out there. What goes on me. with that? Yeah. Is that that gay thing? No, rolfing is actually quite nice. It is. Yeah. What do we do? <laughs> <laughs> what is the rolfing therapy? Rolfing is deep um, massage. Oh really? But that's getting up. <laughs> that's nice. With a full release. <laughs> you guys are happy sick. reach around. What do you get? How, what do you do? You tip with that sort of it's, thing, or you know, just ninety bucks you know an hour? What Minka did you? Minka? Yeah. The, uh, Minka. Rolfing. Which one? You have you? No, but I've Minka. Had Rolfing? No, I've never had it. But I mean, Minka, Minka the poet or Minka Minka the uh, number one Asian big boob queen. Oh my Poor god! Queen. Well, the way she dug her knee in, and then she took both arms and pulled as hard as she could with the knee in place. That's Rolfing. Really? Yeah. Wow. O always in the gr yeah. genitalia. No. Sure they try to hurt you? Okay. No. Oh, look, go find All a right, shrink, sit down, and talk. Hmm. Eva? Uh, yeah. You're 19? Yeah, I was wondering, Um, Scrabble. I have, like, these little dots on my vagina walls, and I was wondering vagina. um, if there are general warts. Are you sexually active? Um, yeah. Mm hmm Brown. Uh, do they look like warts? Uh, I don't know what warts? they look like. Warts look like warts. You ever seen a wart? Um, yeah, like little round circles. Little warts, yeah. like on somebody's finger, that kind of thing. You, you got that little girl voice. Always makes us nervous, Eva. Should we, <laughs> should we be gambling on you? No. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. No. Uh-huh? No. Alcoholic dad? Mm, yeah. 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 Sexual abuse? No. No. Alcoholic dad. This is alcohol dad. Physical abuse? 
How do you guys? It, when uh, girls have the little girl voice, always something. It means up. something. Yeah. Oh yeah. It really? It's stuck you, yeah. Stuck. Yeah. That's how I know. Like Marilyn Monroe was a mess. Oh well. Yeah, I guess we all know that mess. anyway. Yeah. Hey, uh, Eva. Yeah. Where's your dad now? I'm um, sleeping. I see. In prison. No. Here's what you need to do. There are two things you need to do. You need to get a pelvic exam to see what's uh, going yeah. on there. No, nothing I can say is going to determine exactly what's going on there. Uh-huh. And you need to get some Al-Anon under your belt. Okay. Go to Al-Anon. You, I guarantee you're going to make awful choices until you do that. And when you do actually get involved, it's amazing the, the <sighs> improvement in the kinds of people that you're going to be attracted to and will actually be attracted to you. You're going out with uh, idiot guys now? Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. He there you go. Recovery or something for drugs. Your 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 boyfriend. Yeah, my boyfriend. Shocking, shocking! <laughs> what an incredible revelation. That's the pattern. Right. There you right. go. Dad's uh dad's an abuser, so you hook up with what? Alcohol. Great. So go to Al Anon. There you go. Get yeah. a sponsor. Work the steps. All right. All right. And All right. Go to a, yeah, go to a doctor. Yeah. I'm yeah. Gonna... Yeah. Get the pelvic exam. Yes. All right. Okay. Thanks a lot. All right. No, these dads. I, I swear they should be it's killed. It's unbelievable how you guys read these oh, people, though. I mean, listen. Five years. You know, I'm 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 glad you're impressed by, it, but I, I'll I tell know. you, it's <laughs> no different than being a mechanic and going oh, for a test drive gosh. or listening to a car. You know, a mechanic mm -hmm. just put his ha put his head under the hood and he can hear valves knocking, or a, mm -hmm. he knows where's mm -hmm. the transmission or the clutch or the mm -hmm. timing chain or the lifters or whatever the hell's yep. going on in there. It's no different. And how's he know? He's listened to a thousand engines, That's and they it. all just start making. They make a very distinctive sound on my vagina walls. That's right. They pronounce vagina, vagina. Vagina. That, that's what we look for on this show. Vagina walls. Uh, Sean. Hi, Dr. Drew. Sean. Adam. Hey, Sean. Hey, Dave. How you guys doing? Good. Hi, Sean. Say hi to Gina Lee Nolan. Hey, Gina. How you doing? I'm excellent, thanks. Good. Good to hear. Um, Dr. Drew, I've, I've, for the past three, four years, um, I've had some low, very, very low sexual desire with just women in general. I've been dating my girlfriend for about two years now. You're gay. <laughs> oh, true. Please let him finish. Let him finish. Uh, I don't think that's the case. But uh, no, I just, I actually, uh, I've been dating my girlfriend for two years. Gorgeous blonde girl, uh, beautiful girl, but uh, just maybe once a month is, is satisfactory for me, hmm. uh, which is which hmm. is kind of strange. And now, were you, uh, what were you like before two years ago? Two years ago, well, I, I was going for about four years. I was kind of going through depression. Yeah. And Are I, you on meds now? What's that? Are you on medicines now? Um, just about uh, for about two months now. I started taking Remeron. First, he put me on Wellbutrin, which didn't do crap for me. Mm -hmm. and well, Rem I... Remeron, Wellbutrin, and Serazone will not suppress your sex drive. They may, in fact, increase Yeah, that's what, that's what my therapist didn't yeah. inform me about. It, it may, in fact, increase it. It should increase it if, if this is part of your depression syndrome. But, the other thing concerns is that, though, did, did you have a medical evaluation to make sure that your depression wasn't being induced or at least exacerbated by some sort of medical problem? Um, I've, I've actually just went through that phase of going to the doctor off and on, just getting blood tests and mm -hmm. everything. There was nothing medically wrong right. with me. Right. Well, what, what, what medical problem are you talking well, about? Like Epstein Bar or something no, like that? No, some no, that's thyroid or oh, I see. Hey, Sean, shut up. You're getting me depressed now. <laughs> what were you right. saying, Drew? So, so right, it's probably something related to the the, right. the mental illness. Mental what about condition. Uh, how, you? You've been with this girl for a couple of years. A couple of years, actually. Uh, two years. Tomorrow morning, we're going to New Orleans. So yeah. a long weekend ahead. Yeah, of me, you I better put that. out, buddy. You better put out exactly. Yeah, you know what I like about guys though. The, you you could you can bite your lip and go forward, right? Yeah, you can yeah, put out. It, it kind of it it's a hurt for a while um, because hurts. I have you know the crooked problem, and well, maybe uh, that's the whole issue. Yeah, Peronis. Peronis, yeah. Take yeah. your vitamin E. Take 800 units of vitamin E a day. His penis got a got a hook in it. Got a hook in it. You're right, right. Yeah, and it, uh, it does it does hurt on occasion. Um, I can, you know, just bite my lip and go for it and just kind of go full bore. But, you know, nice. it, 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 this is a desire. I actually have a girl at at my school at my college right now who's attracted to me and she's initiated a, a, a sexual. Uh, content is she wants to oh. go out in my car. But, and she has uh, a bent vagina, so you guys are looking at... <laughs> that you had a girlfriend. She wants, yeah, I have a girlfriend, but sure. she wants to go out. I just actually met with her tonight. I see. Mm, how'd that go? go? She wanted to go out and, uh, you know, go in the car and get it on, but I just have no desire. I have no desire. And I, I even told my girlfriend, I said, I just have no desire. I, know. I, I had to give Gina that speech ten minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs>
And I, you know, I, sure. I don't want to go to the, this Top Gun or any of this crap out there that where you know I have to take some drug to make sure I'm stiff all the time and walk with a third leg. So you know, I just he's got, hold he on got a stuff second. going on with this guy. Oh, he's got a yeah. ramp. Yeah, he's got a ramp going. Guys like Sean drive me nuts. I can't hang out with these guys. They got that ramp going. It's First why, of all, uh, I don't get the band, the 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 Peronis. I it's please a, explain. A penis what this is, is. Penis they get, they get is scarring a for various reasons. They get some like a plaque that scars on one side and it pulls it over to that side. So Shortens it's a. It's got a hook on. A it. hook. Yeah. Penis. Hook penis. Yeah. Yeah. So way, does that can... have anything to do with this? Well, it makes desire? it. It can make the rectal function not right, and it can make it hurt. So really? that's part of his deal. Okay. He's depressed. He's got he's got some interpersonal you know dyna dynamic issues. He's yeah. a therapist. Yeah. Right. But meanwhile, he's going Depression. to uh, New Orleans with his girlfriend of two years. He's got some other chick who's hot for him. Yeah. I think mm. he's just telling us about that to sort of compensate to explain that yeah. he's still a desirable male, yeah, even yeah. if he doesn't have the desire to be with ah. women. But listen, hey, Sean. Yeah. All right, relax over there. Drop the wrap a little. And, uh, again, I know it's become a theme of the night, and it seems way too easy, and we just keep going back to it. But y you got some things you need to talk about with your uh, with your psychologist or psychiatrist and, and your girlfriend. I think you need to evaluate your relationship with your girlfriend. Yeah, and that's what the therapist keeps on telling me. I, I, you know, I, I love the girl. I, I want to stay with her as long as I possibly can. Uh, oh, please. Uh, yeah, but wait a minute. Don't, don't do her any favors if you're not that into her. Well, you know, this trip was paid for by her, so, you know, I kind of right. appreciate that. that All right. Yeah, Sean, there you gotta, goes, you got to yeah. drop your rap. you got this rap thing going. Well, even if I'm not it's a, a bad not, guy thing. Yeah, I, am desire, I am desired by other women, obviously. I'm a good-looking guy. That's um, what we're talking about. Other, yeah, right. boy, you, not, you read know, that. I'm not going to toot my own horn, but... No, just, you're not. No, all right. Listen, just keep talking. <laughs> Listen, here's the only time a rap ever pays off is when you get a radio show like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Other than that, it's just a, you guys are just blowing gas. And it's why I hate guys like this because it's why women don't like guys. Mm -hmm. Ugh, they, they there's lump, nothing like a cocky guy. They lump Yuck. Up. Yeah, unless you can back it up. Yuck. <laughs> yeah. That's a turnoff. Yeah. It is. Yeah. But there's something. Just a classical. But what about a guy who's really confident and loud about it, like me? Yes, <laughs> and a, funny. That's no, yes. You listen to me! Yes. That's a turn-on, And right? smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. That's it. That's right. <laughs> what? Trevor? Yeah. What's up? You're 20. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, the problem is there's this girl that I've been with. I was with a girl who was clinically depressed before this, and she didn't even do this. But I was, I'm with this girl now. And she likes to fool around, like, you know, I mean, really is is into it, but she when she orgasms, she cries. Okay, she's like, like yeah. not like cries out her orgasm, but orgasms and then bursts into tears and has to sit there for like 20 minutes. Can she right. tell you why? No, she, she doesn't even know. She just says that she really doesn't like orgasms. Like, oh, my see. gosh. Let me write that down. Well, I think we have the answer to our question. She's fundamentally against orgasms? Yeah. It's I an I ideological thing. You're I understand. I don't know. No, no, no. She's not. It's not an ideological she may come thing. From, she may no. come from a long line of orgasm haters. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. It's just... Possibly be. I remember my uh, my uh, gr grandmother on my mother's side hated orgasms. It was always, always a topic of debate in the Corolla she family. She certainly seems to take them away from you as she best she can. Yeah, she does her best to try to knock them out of me. She doesn't hate them. She really wants them and likes them. Well, she sure. everything else about it. Sure. Stockholm Syndrome, we'd call what that. What is she you, crying about? I, I don't know. She just says that all of a sudden the orgasm triggers something that mm. just makes her unbelievably depressed, just amazingly sad. And and this is before... Like her cat died. I mean, is, it was, This is before your orgasm? No, no, no. This is usually... Did she ever yeah. do uh, much... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do you do oral mm. sex on her? Is that what yeah, oh, yeah. Her? Okay, buddy. Just relax. <laughs> oh. Just bring it up. My was job. she ever involved with the drugs? No. You sure? No opiates? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, oh, she, hold she on. She doesn't drink or smoke or nothing. Doesn't this sound like, uh, I mean, doesn't this mean something weird happened to her you with usually? Mm. What do you think, Trevor? I don't I, I don't think she was ever, I mean, like, I know everybody in her family, and I, I don't think any of them ever did anything. Yeah, doesn't yeah. Always something have emotional. Yeah. yeah. I mean, her, fa her father has been gone for a long Her father's a captain, and he's out all the time. Hmm. But um, But he never, you know. Hmm. None of them are alcoholics, and none of them, you know, 
All right. But here's the, impo the important thing is you have your orgasm first, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then you go down on her and she has oh, an I orgasm. Go, I go down on her before that. Yeah, so okay. There's no doubt. There yeah. No doubt you're master with the tongue. Okay. Whatever. I, I would never imply for a second that you weren't spending a considerable <laughs> amount of time in a woman's crotch. I'm just trying to, you understand, I'm asking the questions here. I'm yeah, just trying yeah, to get okay. a sort of chronology yeah. here. Yeah, okay. Uh, no doubt you are, you are the, uh, you are the, the, the uh, trim eating king. Well, okay. 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 Now I'm, I'm sending a tiara out to you that will, that will state that fact so okay. all the world can see. Thank you. Now you go down on her, but you give her the orgasm when you're going down on her. Mm hmm. That's right, at the end of the uh, love-making act. Uh -huh. And uh, does she ever have an orgasm through intercourse? Oh, yeah. Does she cry at that point, too? Yeah, she'll cry then. Wow. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, and, and that's that's tough because you haven't had your orgasm then, right? No, surprising. I've usually had it. It's surprising that she won't stop, you know. Yeah, I just, the whole yeah. Thing. She, she just, she, but then we just, she keeps going? Yeah, I just keep going, and she keeps going. And, and she just cries right through it? She just cries. No, and then she starts crying, and then she has her orgasm, and then she cries. And I get off of her, and I just kind of sit there and comfort her while she is just terribly depressed. Do you ask her what the matter is? Oh, or? yeah. Yeah, no, and, and I mean, we've we've talked about it, and she doesn't really, she doesn't really know. She just says that there's something about the losing control during mm. the orgasm. All right. Mm, losing control. Oh, that, uh, that could mean two things. could mean someone held her down and took away her control when she was five, or it could just mean... She's one of these people that just is emotional and well, has difficulty with the it. the vulnerability is scary. Right? Yeah. Maybe. Something's mm -hmm. up. I think a little different thing. When I orgasm the uh, the uh, Virgin Mary that I set up on my uh, mantle. She cries. She cries. Yeah. She... Yeah. And a whole bunch of Mexicans uh, stake down at the <laughs> house with a candle trying to get a look at it. This is when you're by yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's when I orgasm. What do you mean? That's what I mean. What are you talking about? Is that like one of my buddies is over? <laughs> What are you talking about, Drew? <laughs> Come on, man. Don't fag off. Jesus Christ. Right in front of Gina? Oh, of course I'm my by word. myself. How dare you? How dare you imply that there's someone in there with me? I, I just meant somebody running the VCR for you. Or, or, no, no, no. No, this no, is I got a remote for yeah. you. This is at his party house. Or running the porn out of the bunker for you. That's right. <laughs> Do not humiliate me in front of my precious Gina. Aw. All right. That is, uh, that's it for Gina. It is? Well, y you got to get up at 5.30. Okay. Well, I got to get up at 5.30, right. too. I could drop you off, swing right by the house. It's KTLA, only, it's only, first thing in the morning. It's only 11 miles out of my way. Oh, Go it right is, by eh? there. Yeah. Oh, got it. Yeah. Uh, hey, I Kira. have had a yeah. great time oh, really? with you guys. Yes. Well, come and back. And this is the first time I've been on the show, and it's wonderful. I feel like I'm, you know, part of the gang here. Well, you uh, you can come back anytime you I, like. And I will do that. Starting, well, I'm not going to be here tomorrow night. <laughs> I'll be, but I'll yeah. be on the air tomorrow night. I'll just be broadcasting out of New York. We'll do it Sunday night. All right, Shira, Lord of the Jungle, Queen Sheena. of the Jungle, what? Sheena. All right, I got, it all, I got it all screwed up because I used to call it Shira when maybe, I was a kid. That's and that's what it is. Oh, it's, it's not er Sheena. Sure. What Hold was it? Sheba? Sheba. Sheba. Was it Sheba? No, I think it's Shira. 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 Not Sheena. Oh, whatever. That's why I thought for sure. I had never. All right. Yeah. Oh, you heard of that See? one? You didn't want to pipe up? Okay. Shira. All right. That's not what it is. This is Sheena, Sheena. right? Yes, that's right. Queen Sheena can of the jungle. morph into any animal. Yeah, but I thought Shira could The, the too. white leopard. I see. I see. So it's dramatically different. Huge. It's totally different concept. What you You're right. How dare you? Okay. Saturdays, first week in October. Look for it. Uh, it's syndicated, so uh, check your local listings. Yeah. Gina Lee Nolan, thank you very much hey, for coming in. Hey, you guys. In. Thanks for having me. It's great. You come back anytime, and we'll be back after this. Huh? What are you saying, Drew? What is he into? I don't know. Right. It's into the art. I don't know. No. Uh, oh, shut up. Deluding yourself. Huh? All right. Hey, it's Loveline. I'm Adam Kroll. It's Dr. Drew over there. Uh, the phone number is... Uh, uh, forget it. <laughs> Gina's out of my life. She left. With her husband. Whoever. You know. And her what, child. What, what, what is a husband? You got a, what, So what do you got? A piece of jewelry and a, and a piece of paper? With a stamp on it? And What's three, that mean? And a three-year-old. And a three-year-old little stamp and a piece of paper in his ass? Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean anything to me. She was so nice, wasn't she? Yeah, she was very nice. Yeah, she had a very good disposition. No reason why good-looking people shouldn't be nice. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Why not? 
I don't know why they're not usually, but uh, that Gina was nice. It didn't seem that crazy either. What's well, that mid Midwest? People in the Midwest are so nice. You yeah. know, think about it. Minnesota. Oh yeah. In Southern California, we're used to. Mm. See, she's gonna be wearing that chamois. You guys got to watch that uh, Sheena Lord of, I mean, Queen of the Jungle. Someone's got to find that cartoon, that Saturday morning cartoon for me. Shira. Shira, Queen of the Jungle or Lord of the Jungle? Huh? What about He-Man? Spinoff on He-Man, from He-Man? No, this was around 10 years before He-Man, or five years before He-Man. This is around, uh, this came before He-Man, Anderson. Yeah. I know, Anderson uh, told me during the break he used to whack off the He-Man. What's that? I don't know. You know what He-Man is? No. Oh, true. Oh, what was it? Ah, it's just, <laughs> He-Man was like gay porn for kids. It's like this really tan, buff guy with a blonde page boy haircut who used to run around in, uh, you know, studded leather and uh, beat up uh, space villains like Skeletor. It, it wasn't a, a cartoon. Yeah, it was a cartoon. Yeah, very big cartoon. Yeah. Very big. Yeah. And you know, you know what I liked about, you know what, I, there were, I, I think we've kind of dropped this, but there was a whole series that went on in the uh, mid 70s and uh, early 80s of this sort of uh barbarian in outer space kind of thing sort of guys who fought with a slingshot but traveled in the <laughs> spacecraft do you know what i'm talking about yeah kind of the fantastic four was kind of that way. these guys they, 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 were, they would turn into they, fire they too. looked like roman gladiators yeah but they were doing it in an outer space type environment and yeah. i thought to myself uh hold on how's it here, let me tell you something about technology. You invent the spaceship, you invent the gun. You don't invent the spaceship and fight with a slingshot. Right, right. Didn't or, make and, sense And not to have me. clothes. And, and walk around with your nuts hanging out of your shorts. Yeah, it, it was the, the technology. It, uh, it, it goes hand in hand. Well, just look at us now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. All right. Well, these are wonderful stories. Oh, yeah. Huell Hauser, everybody. you got to check this cat out. This this is Stevie. Do you have any more? Do you have some more Huell Hauser? I'm trying to tell Drew who Huell Hauser is. He didn't he's been on he's been on television out here in the Southland for at least twenty years. Wow. And this guy goes on he it's like the most boring field trip you've ever been on in your life. Wow. He takes you places you never want to go, never wanted to go, and never want to go again. And I just missed it. Yeah. Oh, you didn't miss anything. That's probably why this didn't even stop the clicker. He does this thing. It's called like uh, 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 pining for digging for uh, California gold or something, and he just basically goes to like he goes to tortilla factories. He goes to baklava factories. He goes uh, to people's backyards who have persimmon trees and talks about persimmons for forty five minutes. And you saw him. He's absolutely dumbfounded and amazed at everything. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the floor. The floor. It's amazing. The floor. And you you stand on this floor. Uh, yeah, we do, Huel. We danced on it. Are we standing on it now? That's what's holding us up, Huel. Can we hear the real thing? Yeah, yeah. give us Please. give us some of that. You and your brother would run up and down the stairs. Now, was that allowed? Uh, well, they were up partying. We were playing on the stairs. So These would be great stairs we for were, children to run up and down. They were a blast. Yeah. So you actually you ran up and down? You got to, As kids, you ran up the stairs? You got any more of him? You got some, I swear. Has he visited a food? Do you have him visiting a food factory? You now, got these it. the original light fixtures yes. on the side? Because they're beautiful. And they were up on the stage, too. They're gone now. But Now, would the meetings be conducted from up on the stage that's itself? Right. That's, the, that's the actual podium there. Uh-huh. Anderson's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, losing it. I've never it, seen him laugh so hard it, like it, when, when, when you use the pencil... Did you write with the part with the lead in it or the rubber part at the end? No. Nope. Yeah. We used the part with the lead in it that made the mark. The grand ballroom, and it is grand. <laughs> <laughs> this is where our money's going, by the way. This is uh, this is public television. I'll tell you, I got to tape you when he will. You you think he's at his you you think he's good when he's talking about stairs ballrooms and stages. This is nothing. This is architecture. Tortilla food. He's, he's got to hit a tortilla factory. You you have not lived till till he will has hit Alvera Street, and uh, really dissected the manufacturing process involved with pinatas mm -hmm. or baklava. 
That was a good one too. The baklava. But I mean, he has a he has a tortilla factory. That, that I, I got to bring that in there. That's his wheelhouse. Yeah. Bill, yeah. yeah. can I just say something? That organ is actually the second largest, oldest organ in the entire country. That's really? Uh, <laughs> Fascinating. Really. <laughs> Matt. Oh, Matt. sleeping. Oh, Matt's been on hold for 109 minutes and 33 seconds. Listen to him. Listen to him what? <laughs> Boring. He's not doing anything. I think Huel put him over the edge. <laughs> he, you know, that, you know, Huel, he, 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 forget about that white noise. You just get a tape of Huel asking questions. So done. this has been sitting here since 1925. That's right. And it has had many of the famous organ players record on this right here. Really? Really? That's right. And you've been here since 1722, haven't you, old timer? That's right. Huel, he never, he, he's, he, he is always amazed. By everything. 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 So you say the sun came up this the morning? The sun came up, Yule. In the sky? Yes, it did. And here's where the tortillas come out of the conveyor belt. That's right, Yule. So they go in as little balls of crushed corn, and they come out as tortillas on this end? That's right, Yule. And how do you ship them? In a truck. In a truck? That's right, Huel. We put him in the back of a truck. Off a loading dock? Sure enough, Huel. A flatbed truck or a panel truck? We use both, Huel. <laughs> oh, both! <laughs> and you say the tortillas go in this end of it? Yes, they do, Huel. And they come out that? That's right. And then what? They go in a truck. <laughs> in a truck! And how long have you been here, Huel? Seven billion years. <laughs> Seven billion years. So your grandfather owned this? Yes, he did, Huel. How did they used to make them seven billion years? No different, Huel. And one in this end came out, and they used a truck. A truck! Yeah, every place been there for a billion years, and he's amazed. Just one more. One more. One more. We're going into the lodge room itself. Into the inner, inner, inner sanctum. Oh, boy. Now, this is wonderful. Oh, man. <laughs> he is excellent. But I'm telling oh, you. Oh, boy. He is he has not hit his stride until he's gotten right, around we'll get food. Some food. We'll get yeah. some food. And not complete food, food parts. You know, food bread. manufacturing. Yeah, the manufacturing. Not the whole taco, just the tortilla part of it. Or uh, like I said, I I think baklava is one of his better better uh, food items too. <laughs> but it goes to like a taffy factory once in a while. It's great. Evan. Yes. You're 23. Right. What's up? No, I had had a question about how that morning after pill works. What do you mean how it works? Um. Well. When do you take it? As far as like how how much time do you have? 72 so, hours. What's that? 72 hours, but 72 it's, hours. it's best if you get it within 24. Okay. What happened? Well, I had sex last, you know, yesterday, and uh, Thank you. I didn't use a condom, and uh, I'm just kind of nervous about it. Get the morning after pill. You're, she's going to get pregnant. So you have 72 hours. And, 72 uh, hours. It suppresses ovulation. It doesn't cause an abortion. Right. It just prevents. Now, your sperm is sitting in her now waiting for an egg to be released. Right. That's how this works. Yeah. And if that egg gets released, you got a pregnancy. If you get the pill taken before the egg is released, it won't be released, and that'll be that. But if where, do you, where, where do you get the pill from? Any doctor. Just, okay. There's, okay. A, there's a number you can call. It's one eight eight eight. Not too late. Not number two late. Okay. N O T number two L A T E. All right. All right. Cool. Good luck. All right. Good luck to you there, Marie. Yeah. You're fourteen. Mm-hmm. What's up? Well, I was wondering, I've been pregnant like a couple of times, and I have um, repeatedly taken pregnancy tests, and they've came out positive, but then I I have really nice friends. They like kind of, I guess you'd say, beat the crap out of me, mm -hmm. like, and I ask them to, and then like in a couple of hours, I just go in the bathroom, I start bleeding, and 
after that I have normal ovulation. Okay. So what's the problem? So I was just wondering, um, this is it going to affect, like, my fertility when I'm older? or? Yeah. should be fine. All right? Okay. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right. Well, what do you want me to say? Hey, listen, Marie. Yeah? Yeah, you're obviously trying to get a little rise out of us here. I mean, you, you want some attention, right? No. No, you don't? Mm-mm. You just, uh, you're just genuinely concerned about your fertility? Your well-being. Being uh, beaten in the stomach? Hey, tune in uh, this week to California Gold. Uh, Huel Hauser visits an abortion clinic. <laughs> okay. They use a vacuum? A vacuum? And uh, where do they carry the uh, medical waste away with? A uh, truck, you A uh, truck? How long have you been performing these abortions? Seven zillion years, Shiel. The earth was still molten. All right, hey, listen, baby. What's, what's up with you? What happened to you? Where's your dad? Um, in his room sleeping. Really? Yeah, he's not... He's not abusive or no. a drug or alcoholic no. or anything. Really? What is he? What do you do you have a brain tumor? Is he just checked out totally? Well, kind of, but kind of not. He's like I hardly see him. Why? Cuz by the time he he comes home from work, he just like goes in his room and then sleeps. Mm. And I, I like never see him. And uh your friend so how many times you've been pregnant? About um, Three times. Wow. Is it three? Mm-hmm. Well, you don't have to think about it, right? Mm-mm. Three times. Mm-hmm. Di- different guys? Um, Two different guys, yeah. Mm. I see. And uh, then uh, you get pregnant, then uh, they punch you in the stomach and you uh, miscarry. Mm-hmm. The first two times, it was like early, early, and I did it, and then it worked. But this last time, which was a couple weeks ago, like a two to three weeks ago, I was, like, too far along. I couldn't do it, so I had some of my friends do it, and it worked. Uh, I, I, don't think, I don't think this is why she's having a miscarriage. Yeah, now, how does that work? I mean, I, I'm just thinking about that. I mean, it, look, it's a couple of cells deeply implanted in tissue. Hey, yeah, how what are you going to do? Yeah, how's it gonna dis- you going to dislodge that? It's like dislodging your eyeball. Well, it'd be like I whack you in the stomach and you crap your liver. Exactly. Could that happen? Imagine what a devastating body puncher I'd be considered. He actually moved his own liver. He found his liver in the toilet, thank God. He, thank God he kept it wrapped in a wet towel until they reattached it. Yeah, this is... Is this sort of a wives' tale? I would I think mean, so. I mean, the punching, the trauma to the stomach. Well, I mean, yeah, it, that in the, in the third that. trimester or something, maybe, yeah, maybe right? Maybe. There's, like a, there's a being to right. damage. Right. But when you're talking about a little ball of mucus... What are you gonna do? Right. It's like uh, beating up a loogie. Exactly. Write yeah. that down. Exactly. Well, hold on a second. How far? How long after you were pregnant did you uh, start the body work? Mm, about a month and a half. Yeah, no, months. no way. No. That didn't cause that. the abortion. Okay, then what? Or the miscarriage. It? Well, you might have a problem. Yeah, you might be having difficulty holding a pregnancy due to whatever the hell it is you're doing. You understand? I guess. All right. But, but it's, you know, the first trimester is usually genetic type stuff. So. Well, how bad do you want to be a mom anyway? Oh, God, not at all. Oh, there you go. Okay, so listen, could you stop getting pregnant, please? Definitely, yeah. Oh, you've learned your lesson? Oh, yeah. Are you on the pill? No. Oh, gee, she's learned a lesson. I don't, I don't even touch guys anymore. <laughs> Good. What are you into? Just drugs and chicks? <laughs> yes, actually. Yeah. Oh. All right, baby. I knew there was something filling that in. Yeah, what drugs are you into? Just mostly weed. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, hey, Marie. Mm-hmm. I know uh, people didn't make you feel too good about yourself growing up at your house and everything, but you don't have to keep going with that trend, you know? Mm-hmm. You can take care of yourself. You can have a good life. You can do what you want. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You, you, well, you, if you don't turn it around soon, you won't be able to make those kind of choices. It'll be you, very difficult. You know when you turn on the TV and you see people that are allegedly having fun and doing what they want to do? Uh-huh. You could do that, too. Okay. And, and then realize you're not having that much fun. But you could still do it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Do that. You uh-huh. see those douche commercials? Mm-hmm. And uh, those, all those feminine commercials were good-looking chicks, one from every ethnicity, is sitting around talking? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You could be one of those chicks. Stop getting pregnant. Stop punching yourself in the belly. Start taking care of yourself. Your parents aren't going to do it. I'm sorry. You were born into that. 
But you've got to take care of yourself now, right? Right. All right. <clears throat> what is it with the friends where there's one of every ethnicity? Everyone close your eyes and tell me the last time you hung out with your black and Chinese friend. Just uh, putting back a few cold ones and shooting some pool. Ever happen? It doesn't make you a racist. It's just well, white guys hang out with white guys and black guys hang out with black guys and Chinese guys hang out with uh, Korean guys. But we can't tell. That's the difference. Nice. You know what I'm saying? I've investigated. I found out there was Korean. That's nice. You don't know that. You just think it's Chinese guys. Minka told you about you're that. You're racist. <laughs> you think they Minka all look educated. alike. Minka told me. Yeah. She's the number one Asian big boob queen. <laughs> but I always love those commercials. Yeah. So they got one of everything hanging out. That's nice. I, I, I love it when they do that. It's one of everything. One of everyone. Especially the, especially the Asian guy. Where's the Asian guy and the black dude and the white? <clears throat> I can see the black dude and the white dude. Where's the Asian dude? How does he fit into that? How does that work? Do you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know, Adam. I don't sit around and think about it. You don't it. think about that? No. Hey, I find it disturbing. Like I know they do it so they cover their bases and they don't want to they don't they don't, don't want to raise any suspicions. But to me, it's distracting. I don't like seeing that. My kids hang around like that. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Oh, because you go to that little school. You go to that little rainbow school. <laughs> you know, come in the real world. <laughs> We're going to take ourselves a uh, little break. We'll be back after this. Hey. What band is this? It's a, oh, SR71. Hmm. I hung out with uh, Dickie from the Boston's today. Very lovely guy. Had a... Had a very enjoyable uh, day. That's him. <laughs> Sounds like him. He came over and uh, took cab over to my house, like a like a gentleman, and uh, went out to lunch. A little reach round. Gave him a little reach round, happy release. Drove him around, gave him a tour of North Hollywood and all the houses I used to live in. Showed him the house uh, of the uh, house where I installed the closet in the wrong house. Oof. He enjoyed that. A little scenic tour. Throw him through uh, Wonderland uh, Canyon up there where uh, those John Holmes uh, drug murders uh, went down. Give him a real, real, real taste of the flavor of Southern California. From a guy ah! who lived his whole life in sort of the, the cultural center of Boston. It's got to be really Thinky. weird. Yeah, it's yeah. Gonna be very weird. A Twilight Zone for him to drive around North Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. He's a great guy. John? Yeah. You're 22. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, well,. Um, let's see, I, uh, met my, uh, who's my fiancé now, about, uh, a year ago, actually, yeah, a year ago, and, uh, you know, this relationship evolved, uh, quickly, uh, we became engaged maybe eight months later. Yeah. Um, one month after the engagement, uh, we announced, uh, we announced it to our friends and, uh, and family. Um. Why'd you wait a month? Um, just, um, actually, you know, the people who knew right away were our immediate families. Um, just, well, anyway. Yeah. You're not into it anymore? To get something, um, <laughs> together with our friends. How old is she? How old is she? She's 23. Yeah. She's a year older. What's yeah. the problem? You having second thoughts about the well, marriage? What's giving me second thoughts is the day after we announced our, uh, engagement to our friends, she, uh, let it be known to me that, uh, she had, uh, intercourse with her ex-boyfriend like the day before no that she's had it uh repeatedly throughout our relationship i see Ooh, wow oh boy she, yeah i mean there's... she's had it repeatedly throughout our relationship <laughs> yeah i mean <laughs> while she was visiting france he performed sexual can serve no purpose anymore true was doing a cone house <laughs> she consumed alcoholic beverages while continuing to have intercourse in mass quantity with her um, previous concubine, I mean, there's there's no doubt in my in my <laughs> heart and mind that I love this woman. Oh yeah, sure. Um, what's not to love? Wh I'm falling that? in love with her too. Ugh. Yeah, <clears throat> you made your chance. She's uh yeah she she. <clears throat> why do you think she told you this? Um, she didn't want to be married with any secrets. Yeah, she just didn't want to be married. She, you know. Yeah, you're right up until the yeah. part you got to <laughs> with any secrets. <laughs> she didn't want to be married. Up. Oh. Stop. Stop. There's, uh, w now, she may say, and listen to me, John, 
is you know I'm a genius. Uh, I know more. Uh, I know more about uh, uh, people than uh, Norm Abrams knows about houses. Okay. <laughs> or than uh, Huel Hauser knows about Mexican food, or at least the processing of it. Look for the areas. Fill that space. Oh, that is my second favorite guy on TV, <laughs> Christopher Lowell. He's <laughs> so gay. Oh my God. All right. Listen. Yeah. <clears throat> She may say to you that she wants to get married with all her heart, but believe me, there's a big part of her that does not want to get married, and that's why she brought this up. And, and it may be that she doesn't feel worthy of it or is afraid of intimacy. It doesn't Whatever. mean that she doesn't love you or doesn't want to be with you. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, but it means she doesn't want to be married. And it, right. the sum total of her emotional circumstance adds up to that. Right, right, right. Right, right. Um, four. Yeah, oh, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not four. No, that's not uh, Lewis. Yeah. You're uh, 17? Yeah. You, 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 you drink a lot and your parents keep catching you? Mm, well, it's not that I drink a lot. It's just that when I do, like, I guess I get got to get picked up by my parents. And I don't want to. I've already been caught once, all drunk and stuff. So I didn't want to come back. Like, I just want to know. What I could do, if there's anything I could do to, like, just get sober, like, right away. Uh, stop drinking? No, well, besides that, I know That's there's... it. That's it. Oh, you mean some pill you can take well, when you're a, already drunk? Not a pill, but then, like, something that could make my parents not, like, so, so, not so drunk. Well, I, the tip I used to use when I was in high school is I'd take the lampshade off and uh, pull my pants up. So I was to sort of look, you know, have a sort of more normal, you know, demeanor appearance. Yeah, I, listen, Lewis, just stop getting drunk and getting your parents to pick you up, you idiot. Yeah. We'll be back. Well, I'd like to thank Gina Lee Nolan for joining us tonight. She is Sheena, Queen of the Jungle. Check your local listings. That'll be syndicated throughout the country. And uh, tomorrow night, we've got Melissa Howard from Real World, and we'll be calling in from Manhattan. And I, Dr. Drew, will be here. I want to thank Danielle for... Now, Danielle, you've got one more night with us, right? So we'll give the, the official closing tomorrow night. But thank you. Happy birthday. Anderson, thank you for the show. Well done. And this is Dr. Drew on behalf of Adam Carolla saying mahalo. On my vagina walls. This has been Loveline. The opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or this station. The producer for Loveline is Ann Wilkins-Engle. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment.